Good morning, and welcome to the Church of the Immaculate Conception. Today is February the 10th, and we welcome Father Leo Marker as our celebrant today. Before we begin, let us remember those who have died on this date. Wendy Williams, 1986. George Fountain, 2013. Eternal rest granted to them, O Lord, Lord and let the perpetual, perpetual life shine upon, shine upon them. them. May their, their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. intentions today are for Patricia Merriam and Raymond Callanan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. As we gather as God's people this morning, May we call to mind our sins and ask God for forgiveness. Lord, for those times that we fail to appreciate the gift of all human life, Lord, have mercy. For the times that we fail to appreciate the gift of our beautiful Catholic faith and the seven sacraments, Christ have, Christ have mercy. And for those times we fail to appreciate the gifts of one another, Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God 
have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us now pray. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. At the time when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens, while as yet there was no field shrub on earth and no grass on the field had sprouted, for the Lord God had sent no rain upon the earth and there was no man to till the soil, but a stream was welling up out of the earth and was watering all the surface of the ground. The Lord God formed man out of the clay of the ground and blew into his nostrils the breath of life. And so man became a living being. Then the Lord God planted a garden in Eden in the east, and he placed there the man whom he had formed. Out of the ground the Lord God made various trees grow that were delightful to look at and good for food with the tree of life in the middle of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The Lord God then took the man and settled him in the garden of Eden to cultivate and care for it. The Lord God gave man this order. You are free to eat from any of the trees of the garden except the tree of knowledge of good and evil. From that tree you shall not eat. The moment you eat from it, you are surely doomed to die. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. O bless the Lord, my soul. O bless, o bless the Lord, Lord my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory, robed in light as with a cloak. Oh, bless oh, the, the Lord, Lord my soul. soul. All creatures look to you to give them food in due time. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. Oh, bless, oh, bless the, the Lord, Lord my, soul. my soul. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Oh, bless, oh, bless the Lord, Lord my, soul. my soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and passes out into the latrine? Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, and folly. All these evils come from within, and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. The first reading today from the book of Genesis gives us the second story of the creation of man. The first story of creation had to do with the six days of creation and then God resting on the seventh. Today's reading shows us the creation of man, Adam, and the follow-up would be Eve and the fall of our first parents in original sin. As we hear that story and realize that God made everything good, he made us good, but he gave us all a gift that can be misused by the bad angels, Satan, Adam and Eve, and when we sin, and it's called free will. And sometimes as we hear all the sins that were listed by Jesus today in that gospel reading, we say, am I guilty of any of those? Sometimes, if we are, we tend to blame other people. We blame Satan. We blame society. We blame the government. How many of you here might remember the comic Flip Wilson? Anybody remember him? Anybody remember what his favorite saying was? The devil made me do it, right? Wrong. He was a comic, and that was a very comical saying. But sometimes we blame the devil. Yes, he's alive and well, and he tempts you, and he tempts me. But it's we that commit the sin, not Satan. It is we that take that gift of free will and misuse it, doing not God's will, but our will. And sometimes in doing so, we sin. A week from today, we'll gather to receive our ashes on Ash Wednesday, a beautiful time of the year of Lent, to think about our mortality. We're here for a short time, and then we go home to God. But what we do in that short time is so very important. So we will be reminded next week, turn away from sin and believe in the gospel. Turn away from sin and believe in the gospel. 
And those ashes that will be placed on our forehead will be a reminder that we are God's people, that we do sin. The good news is that God forgives us when we're sorry and confess. So let's pray today that we continue to believe, to hope, to forgive, and to love. And perhaps make a resolution to make this coming Lent the best Lent in which we all will grow in age and wisdom and grace as did the Lord Jesus. Continue to believe and continue to know how much God loves you and I love you also. Let us now pray. Lord God, we have gathered here today to praise you, to adore you, to tell you we're sorry, and to thank you for your many gifts. For all those who do not believe, for all those who have left the church and the sacraments, for all those who are searching, that during this coming Lent they may find the Lord and embrace him, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, sisterhood, brotherhood, and diaconate, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are searching for a meaning in their lives, that they will find it in the Lord, in the church, in the holy sacraments, and in scripture, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the sick and the dying, for all those who are addicted, incarcerated, unloved, and for all our faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for these many said and unsaid petitions that we hold within our hearts, we gather before you today. We know that you will hear our prayers May we accept your response, however and whenever it may come. And all this we ask through Christ our Lord, our brother, and our best friend. Amen. Amen.
my brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin Saint Scholastica, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts that you promise in the new world to come. And so, with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as 
we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop, Edward, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her husband, Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Scholastica, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. And please, may we share that peace with one another. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring you to life to us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe through eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. A prayer of spiritual communion. I wish my Lord to receive you with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and fervor of the saints.
Let us now pray. O oh God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so as to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, loving and serving God and one another. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.